Hello. Uh, last week I posted a video telling you guys about a cast on that I like to do, and this week we're going to change tack a little bit and talk about the wonderful Mobius. This is a little Mobius that I made a while ago. You can see that it has one half twist. It also happens to be finished with Jenny's surprise and my stretchy bind off, but that's another story. Anyway, the simplest way to make Mobius is to take a piece, a strip of paper or a strip of whatever. I've drawn, I've drawn a line on one side so you can tell the difference from side to side. Give it a half twist and fasten. And then you end up with this thing that has, um, if you look at where the sides meet, you can see where the pen ends and stops there. So anyway, that's how you know that it's a continuous form because it has no front and no back. So if I were to do that with a piece of fabric, let's say this little sample that I have here, you just give it a half twist, go around. I'm going to use a little needle to fasten it. And so now you've got an OBS. And that's, that's not how I knitted this one, but um, I knitted this one using the cap boarding method of starting from the middle and knitting to the outside. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how you do it in fabric. Now, what if I were to take this Mobius and cut it in half right down the middle? I've made a handy dandy um, fleece model to show you what happens here. So there's Mobius and I've got this zipper down the middle. So I'm gonna pull the zipper out and show you what you get. Sorry. <laughs> okay. What you get is a strip with 720 degrees of twists. That is two full twists. You can see that it's got a top and a bottom because the black zipper meets up with the black zipper and the white zipper meets up with the white zipper. So Unlike the Mobius, which has no discernible top, bottom, you know, side to side, this definitely has a back, a front, and a white side and a, and a black side. So you might wonder, oh, well, now you've unzipped it. How the heck are you going to get it back into the Mobius shape? Well, I'll show you. So I'm holding it with the white side. So you have a full twist on each side, right? The white sides are both facing you. I'm going to give it a half twist this way. And then what I want to do is meet the black zipper over here with, zip, with this zipper here. So I'm going to flip it over, and there we go. And I'm going to zip this up. Voila, we have our Mobius again. Now, let's say that you're wondering, well, can I do that in three dimensions? If I can take a strip of paper and attach it at the sides, can I take a tube and do the same thing? Here, this is a, from a tube sock, right? So it's hollow. So what if I take that, give that a half twist, and then attach that? I'm going to use my little thing here. So now we have something that looks like Mobius but it's got some volume to it. Um, that's how I made this little object here. I made the graft white so you could see it. But basically, you know, it looks just like a Mobius, except it's knit on all sides. It doesn't have any sort of front or back join in the middle there. And if you wanted to, you could stuff it with all kinds of stuff. And give it to your dog or whatever. Um, so, cool thing. Let's take this apart again. Here we are, back at our, oops, back at our 720 degrees of twist. Let me get it in the right place here. So, white zipper on both sides, one twist on each side. So, half twist. This time I'm going to meet the white zipper and the black zipper, fold them together. And 
Check that out. It's a Mobius, but it goes around twice. And if I zip it together, you're going to end up with a form. Actually, I can do that. I'll just zip it up. Okay. So you saw that this thing made a traditional Mobius. And I want to show you that it also makes a form that is like a Mobius, but it's three-dimensional. But I know Mobii can't be three-dimensional, so I don't know what this thing's called. But um, it might just be a torus. But anyway, so this is it, three dimensions. And if you take it and you stuff it with things, you end up with something like this, which is kind of like, you know, kind of like a donut, except that you have this cool swirly thing going through there, all the way through there. So that's this week's post. Bye.